Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Our guest for mid today, midday today is Michaela Kumpke, the president and CEO at the Food Bank. Michaela, thanks so much for being here with us. Always a pleasure. So September is Hunger Action Month. Could you kind of talk about what that means? You bet. So the Food Bank of Lincoln is one of 200 Feeding America food banks across the country in Puerto Rico. And we use the month of September to really elevate awareness of the, the issue of food insecurity. And so throughout the month, there's a special call to action that we invite folks to engage with our work and really understand uh, just how great the need is. So how can people get involved? Like what kind of plans do you guys have going on? Yeah, well, quick shout out to the restaurant food and beverage partners who participated in Dine Out to help out last week. Um, we don't have official numbers yet, but, but it was great to have that activity back this year. Um, next Friday is Hunger Action Day. And so the, the color of hunger action is orange. So um, this big red state, we would love to see it go orange next Friday to help bring awareness uh, to the issue and, and also to engage with us on social media. Um, help spread the word because that's something that everybody can do as long as you're, you're on one of those platforms, but it doesn't cost anything uh, to get involved and to help spread awareness. What else is going on in September for you guys? Yeah, so um, we're also back in our food markets, back, you know, school food markets and back in the schools to help connect more meals to, to children and families and the mobile food distributions are continuing. Um, we're going to do a special proclamation um, with the city of Lincoln to identify uh, Hunger Action Awareness and, and Hunger Action Month. So, um, you know, a lot of just gathering around the issue and, and helping people rally and call to do some good um, to help bring attention to the issue. Is there anything that you guys really need right now? Yeah, always, right? Always, <laughs> right, yes, of course. But. Yeah, um, of course, food and, and funding support. Um, we're, we are back to the point where we are accepting food donations, and so we have locations around town, and different businesses have organized again to host food drives. Um, for every dollar donated to the food bank, we're able to provide about three meals. Um, so folks can donate online or through the mail with checks and or, or delivery to the food bank. Um, of course, our capital campaign is ongoing and we're, we're within that last million dollars. So um, we hope to be into that new facility by March or April of 2022, but we still have just a little bit more to fundraise to help us. I was going to see, work. yeah, getting that update on that facility. Is yeah. There anything else just getting closer? <laughs> yeah, I think just the excitement continues to build as the building is building, um, knowing that we'll be able to get healthier food, more food to neighbors and do that in a safer and more efficient manner. The, the freezer and cooler space in that new building is going to be about two and a half times larger than our current capacity. Um, and so that's just going to really help us do our work uh, more efficiently. All right, Michaela, is there anything yeah. else that you'd like to let the public or Lincoln know about the food bank? Yeah, just thank you. You know, <laughs> the, the continued support means so much. Uh, it really is what puts food on tables for neighbors across southeast Nebraska. And, you know, as we think about game day, um, I would remind folks or, or maybe inform folks that the amount of neighbors across the state of Nebraska who face food insecurity would fill Memorial Stadium about two and a half times. And the number of children right here in southeast Nebraska in our Food Bank of Lincoln service area who are food insecure would about fill Pinnacle Bank Arena. So just kind of those mental pictures of really the need is here 